so bad at basketball. And even though I'm a horrible basketball player, today's a great day. You know why? Well, because for the last like two weeks, I've pretty much been alone here at the office. It's pretty much just been me, my camera, and my hover shoes. That's about it. Peter's been off doing his own thing, and then my editor, Matt, has been in Japan for the last two weeks shooting this project. I know, I'm a, I'm a good boss. I let him go for two weeks. But today, he's back. Yeah, you're back. Hey. How was your trip, man? It was great. It was really cool. Japan's a interesting place. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, it's great. <laughs> Japan, I love Japan. The people, amazing. What, what were you doing there? Uh, I was working with uh, the MLB. Good times? Fantastic. Good experience? Absolutely. Awesome. Good to have you back. Yeah, good to be back. <laughs> Matt's great, it's really nice to have him back. He's been my editor for like six months now. He's been helping me edit, and it's been really interesting. Um, it's really scary. First of all, he's my very first hire. Uh, he's my first employee ever. But it's also been kind of scary letting go of some things and letting somebody else kind of help me in this whole creative process. And that's, that's not always easy. Don't get me wrong, I love having the help. It's a really big help having somebody, you know, go through the edits with me and figure out what's the best way of piecing this whole story together. But there are also a lot of challenges and things that make it tricky because I have all these thoughts and ideas in my head of how something should be and Matt, doesn't see what those thoughts and ideas are in my head. So I need to be able to communicate those to him so that we end up with a finished product that is in line with what I had in mind in the first place. And a lot of people I've heard say that I could never ever have somebody else edit my videos, especially for YouTube because it feels so personal, vlogs, that kind of stuff. They feel like nobody else could ever edit their own stuff. And I kind of call half BS on that. There's some truth to it for sure. I, I totally understand and get where it's coming from. But I also think that it's still possible even with those challenges to have somebody else help you edit. I, I don't know how to say this nicely, but you are not the best editor in the world. I'm not the best editor in the world. There's always somebody who's better than you at editing. So you saying that nobody else could ever edit my videos is kind of like you saying that I am the best editor in the world for your videos. I guess that's kind of the caveat. But obviously this isn't true. I'm not the best editor in the world. There's tons of insanely talented editors in the world. But what the issue here is, well, I think there's actually uh, two issues. One is leadership and the other is communication. In order for someone else to edit your videos, edit your ideas, put them down into a video, um, you need to be a really good leader and a really good communicator. You need to be able to lead a team in this, this case so it would just be me and my editor, small team, but, but I got a team. You gotta be able to lead your team to produce what you had in mind in the first place. You need to lead towards your vision. And then the number two thing is communication. You need to be able to communicate those ideas so that you can lead. So you need to get all those thoughts and ideas from your head, communicate it to your editor, and then the editor can do just as good of a job, if not a better job than you can on your own video project, film project, vlog, whatever it is. It's really interesting when you start working with somebody else and collaborating more um, intensively, I guess. Um, there's a lot of things that you notice about yourself that you're really good at and you're gonna be better than that other person. But then there's a lot of things that, for example, Matt brings to the table, things that I would never even think of, things that make my videos way better because he he has these cool ideas. So it's it's a collaborative effort, but, but I'm kind of leading the charge and communicating my vision and he's adding to that vision and making it even better. And that's, that's I think the hard part is this whole leadership and communicating thing. It's one extra thing that you're not used to doing, but now you gotta do it. But I think the, the, the important thing here is that if you wanna make something really, really good in any creative field really, especially filmmaking, you're gonna need to work with a team of people. Every single Hollywood film, great documentary, great short film, animation movie, all those things 
are made with a crew, a whole bunch of people working together. And so these same issues come up where the director or the producers, they have a vision for the, the short film or the movie and they need to be able to communicate it to the rest of the crew, the DP, um, the DP has to communicate that to the other guys. There has to be a lot of communication and leadership in order to work well together. So really what I think this whole, uh, you know, like I could never have somebody else edit my videos. It's more about um, you not maybe being a good leader yet or you not knowing how to communicate things to another person so that they can kind of fulfill your vision um, in whatever you're making, whether it's a film, uh, whether you're a photographer or whatever project you're working on, you need to be able to communicate your vision, your ideas. Uh, I guess that's the key to collaborating. But remember, you are not the best editor in the world. Uh, sorry to break it to you. Another great thing about ha having an editor is uh, her fights. Matt, defend yourself. Yeah. Put on the safety gear. We don't want anybody getting hurt. Oh no! He's got the beast. Ah! I'm running out of bullets. I immediately regret this decision. Truth! Truth! Deep fire! Oh. oh, he wrecked me. Oh, the aftermath is always horrible. But luckily, got an editor to pick up the balls. <laughs> Matt, what is, what's, what's it been like editing for me so far? You've been here six months now, I think? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been great. It's always a, it's always a new adventure. <laughs> Did you expect YouTube to be so much work? Uh, yeah, you know what? It's, uh, it's really fast-paced. Um, I feel like a lot of people might not imagine how uh, how quickly yeah. you have to turn around and you're always editing. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people criticize YouTube videos and like, oh, I would I would have done that differently, and oh, I would have color graded that way better, but they don't realize how fast we kind of have to pump these out. Uh, so yeah, that's that's something that you only really realize once you kind of get into this world. You gonna stick around for a little while still? Help sure, me edit? Sure, hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not firing you, so uh, <laughs> as long as you don't quit. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's some good confirmation. <laughs> so I guess what I'm trying to say is just don't be scared of working with other people. It's, it's really worth it. And, and if you ever want to make like the highest quality, the highest caliber of films, of, of YouTube videos or whatever, you're going to need to work with a team. You're going to need a group of people that help you out, whether it's one person or five people or a hundred people, you're gonna need to work with a team of people if you wanna make the highest quality um, films. Anybody can make videos by themselves, but um, yeah, if you wanna go for the best quality, you're gonna need some help. Not to mention, it's just way more fun working with other people than just always being by yourself. It's kind of lonely. So yeah, I recommend finding other filmmakers that are like-minded, that you like being around, and start working with them. Even if you can't hire somebody, work with other people. There's a lot of people who are interested in filmmaking, and that's why I started the whole uh, YouTube membership thing. I'll, I'll link it down below. I kind of want to make this community of people who are really into filmmaking and want to meet other filmmakers so they can collaborate, learn from each other. Um, I just want it to be this tight-knit community of people because I can't hang out and collaborate with everybody, but there's a lot of other people who are willing to, to make videos together. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in becoming a member, I'll, I'll link it down below. You get a free preset and uh, some other perks. Uh, check it out. So yeah, find those people and they're most likely gonna be kind of in the same situation as you. So don't reach out to 
people that have millions of subscribers, they'll probably never even see your message. But there's a lot of people who are at the same level of their career. They're the ones that you should be reaching out to. They're the ones you should be making relationships with. And then, you know, five years from now, you guys are gonna be the next David Fincher and crew or uh, the next Casey Neistat and all his friends. Or the next Dope Squad. You never know.